in the darkness and forsake the most high and not continue in your calling. Because the scriptures the scriptures tell you, you must continue in your calling. You must keep these commandments and the faith and work out your own salvation with being trembling as you travel and teach this knowledge to our people. He that has an ear, let him hear. See? So that's the one that's going to be able to hear this. Verse 4. These are they, listen to this, real good. These are they which are not defiled with women. What's a woman? They go one right there. They go another one. They go another one. They go another one. They eat a white woman with crosses on their neck. So the 144,000 are not going to be defiled with women. What are women defiled with in this time? Let's go to the scriptures to show you. They show you right here in the Bible. These are they who are not defiled with women. These are they that are not defiled with women. Why are they not defiled with women? 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 says this. For the Spirit speaketh expressly that in a lot of times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. This is what's going on out here today, brothers. The doctrines of devils is out here now. Women pastors. What does the word pastor mean? Mary Webster Dictionary. Let's go to the word pastor. There you go, right here. Page 539. Pastor. A minister or priest serving a local church or parish. First of all, there is nothing called parishes. See, Esau's knowledge is in there, but you got to get an understanding. The word church comes from the Greek word kirkos, which means assembly. The assemblies of today, are they in the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Asha? Never. Where are they now? The Catholic Church. The church in your neighborhood. The congregations that they have out here now are not following the gospel of truth. They're not following the law. So the apostles wrote that in the last days shall some of our people shall depart from the truth and be seduced by what? Taking heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience sin with a hot iron. So some of y'all don't went to these seminary schools and so-called Catholic churches, the whole of set up upon many waters, and you don't got indoctrinated in these so-called fake seminary schools. Who put women in the seats of ministers? And what does the Bible say about that? Can a woman do that? No. Why? 
Let's go to the book of Proverbs 8 and 4. We're going to go to the book of Ezekiel. This is why. This is why. People are not going by the doctrine of the Bible no more. They're going by seducing spirits and doctrines of elders. And they're going to run over my head. Uh, pastor, women pastors, and they're writing books. I heard they got a woman's Bible now. Hmm. Madness. So that means a bunch of effeminate, probably lesbians, got together and they started writing their own books. And those books are inside the Catholic churches and these secret societies out here. And then they started spreading this stuff all throughout our people and the other nations. Now you got doctrines of devils out here. Let's see what the Bible says about this. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 4. Unto you men I call. Unto you men I call. And my voice is in the sons of men. So the Lord calls men. What does he call men to do? Here you go right here. Psalms 68. All right. And verse 10. Thy congregation has dwelt therein, thou old power, has prepared all thy goodness for the poor. The miles of God gave the word. Who did he give the word to? To men. What was Moses? The lawgiver. He was a man. Did we have women that followed us back then? Yes, the daughters of Zion followed us even when we had the tabernacle in the wilderness. The sisters had the part where they sat down at the door of the tabernacle and the men had their part. That's the way Yahweh set it up. Now today, you got churches with female pastors. Who are teaching doctrines of devils. So the elect of Israel and 144,000, we're not going to be defiled with this, this devil. See? And that's what the Lord is showing. And it says here The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of them, of those that published it. So the men of Israel, when you read in this Bible, they published this Bible through the spirit of Yahweh Shemar Shah. They were moved in the spirit to write these laws. When Moses came down off the mountain, the elders had to go up with him to write all these commandments, and they wrote them down on scrolls, and they gave them to the people inside the tabernacle to ministering to them, which were the Levites, which today they would have been called the so-called Asians. They were the priests of the nation. So that was the order back then, and the order that's now in the congregations is this. Verse 12. Kings of armies did flee apace, a, a, a pace, and she that turned at home divided the spoil. Where the woman supposed to be at? At home. See? And I'm going to show you the order of the Most High in this Bible. If the woman's supposed to be at home, why are they out here teaching? Huh? If they go about the law, why are they teaching and being ministers? Because somebody taught them wrong. And they deal with blasphemies or lies. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 11 says this Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. This is New Testament teachings in the book of uh, First Timothy chapter 2. Verse 11, why did they write that? Because they knew this was coming. They knew this was coming. That's why they warned us about it. See? And it says, But I suffer not a woman to teach. They ain't supposed to be teaching men and being pastors. That's a lot. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to some absurd authority over the man. Yeah, over the man, but to 
be in sacks. That means they're supposed to listen. In the congregations. And you brothers out there that got sisters in your congregation, you better read them the scripture today and tell them, thus saith God. Silence! This is wrong. This is blasphemy. It's the spirit of error. The doctrines of devils. And who gave this to him? These women of this age and this time. Because they're wrong. And these sisters right here follow behind the so called Catholic Church. Which is a lot. So what do you have? False prophets, false disciples running around teaching you the Bible now. It says, For Adam was first born, uh, was, uh, was, uh, was first born, then Eve. And Adam was not in deceived, but the woman being deceived was in a transgression. You so-called denominational brainwashed Christian so-called sisters. You run around here saying it was Adam's fault. It was your fault. You were deceived and you brought it to Adam and he ate it and both of y'all got kicked out of the garden. So who did it? You did. And until this, until this day, the Bible says as in Adam, we all die. But in my shop and keeping his commandments and the most high commandments and the faith of him, we of the elect of Israel the 144,000, the most high seal in their brains on this side of the earth, we shall live and live abundantly. It is promised to us. And it says, verse 13, notwithstanding, she shall be saved and childbearing. Where are your husband? Huh? Where is your husband, woman? The Bible says the head of the woman is a man. The head of man is Christ. The head of Christ is the most high. That's the order we follow. Where's your husband? You ain't got one, huh? So now, you are the one. See? If, if they continue in faith, charity, holiness, Without Sabbath, meaning at all. Corinthians wrote about this. The, Paul, the apostles wrote about this in the book of Corinthians. They wrote this. This is another scripture to prove these women are out of order with the Most High's law. This is right in the New Testament. And every so called Sunday morning, they got these Sunday morning whorehouse churches set up all in your neighborhoods and throughout this country with the Roman church. And all this garbage that came from Babylon, the cross, and all of this, with Caesar Borgia, Sunday service, bow, all wrapped up in there, Egyptology, all of that's in there. From the customs from the east. And what do they teach? They teach you a woman can be a pastor. 
So the 144,000, they're not going to be deceived by this. We're going to overcome it. And this is how we're going to overcome it. Because we're going to look in the book and see this. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. For Yahweh is not the author of confusion. Yahweh did not cause this confusion. Who causes confusion? Man. Man-made religions. Man-made philosophies. Man-made books. Now women are writing books. Women pastors. Is it authorized in the Bible? No. to speak for they are commanded to be under obedience as also said the law. Y'all run around here talking about y'all this, y'all that, you keeping the commandments? One. Because it says in the scriptures a woman's supposed to be solid, she's supposed to be out about her husband and it's going to tell you right in there where he's supposed to be at. And if they won't learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. So if you have a husband, you're supposed to be learning from him at home. That's the law, that's the order. The man can bring his wife to the pastors and the ministers, and we can counsel y'all. But a woman cannot counsel anybody because this is out of order. She cannot be a pastor. She cannot be a minister. See? And it says here, they make the answer a husband at home. For it's a shame for a woman to speak in the church. What? Came the word of your hour from you or coming from you only? That's what they're saying now. Ain't no man doing it. But we got a man right here sitting in this chair telling you out of this Bible from the tribe of Judah and the nation of Israel what the Lord said. Are you listening? Because you got these effeminate men out here in these so called churches following this garbage. That's what they follow, following the cross, following the Babylonian customs and these doctrines of devils that's out here. So the elect of Israel, we are not going to be the following women. Why? Let's go back to Ezekiel and show you in the book of Ezekiel who the flock is. And this is what you need to stand strong in, in your congregations, brothers, in your camps. Before you go to camp, fortify yourself in your spiritual conscience with these words. That's your buckle and your shield against this stuff that's going on here with very pastors. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 31. And ye, my block, block of my passion, all men. And I am your God, said the Lord of hosts. Men! So where the men of Israel at, man? Where are you brothers at? The Lord said Judah will be raised up first to get this knowledge. And because the other tribes will not uh, magnify themselves against Judah. So where are you brothers at? You lions! You give us a call here at the base. And we your fellowship, man. You brothers is out there in the feminism, you won't be destroyed. The ones of you that feel a woman should be the same thing as a man, and she don't get emotional, man. We don't care about your emotions. We care about what this word says. Because it's gonna make you or break you, brother. First Corinthians chapter six. This is for the effeminate, truly puff men that's out there. Alright? Verse 9, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? So if you live in unrighteously following this as a man, you ain't getting in the kingdom. Okay, how many ways you sneak around and when your spirit go before your hour, before the great white throne judgment, he got your records on what you were doing down here. Repent or be destroyed. And it says here, Be not deceived, brothers, 
Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. Y'all hear that? That means you born women in this time and this doing So if you're an effeminate, you ain't gonna get the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Because you got that mark of the beast. So if you're effeminate, you ain't gonna make it, man. Don't say the all about Shema Shah. So, what you teach it? What you know? That's what the book says. The law of the testimony just said that and condemned every woman pastor that's running out here, running up out on the pulpit, mm -hmm. talking about she's a pastor. And he writes books about them being pastors coming out of the so called mm -hmm. Roman church which affiliates with all of the churches in your neighborhood and got this garbage in it. That's where it's coming from, the devil himself. Revelation chapter 14, verse 4. These are they which are not defiled with women. We showed you why the women are doing this. For they are virgins, meaning what? When you're born again, the scriptures say you're going back to your first love. Who's our first love, Israel? The whole of Hashemah shot. We left him. As it says in Jeremiah chapter 3, he divorced us. But in the last days, the Most High raised up his son, his saint, uh, our Savior, the Shah, and we're going to reconcile to him and be re-accepted again through the blood of Hashemah, through the promises, through the Holy Spirit, they come from the most high strong and to this knowledge of salvation in Luke 168. See? And it says here, these are, are their burdens. These are they which follow the Lamb, who's Mahasha. We follow the Lamb. The Lamb is Mahasha, Jesus Christ. We don't follow men and we don't follow no men that's in this. Or in this, going to church on Sunday, acknowledging Caesar Borgia as a Lord, you're a madman. You're mad. And that's when they got these two puff marshmallow men running around here pushing this garbage and pamphlets and books all throughout these so called denominational churches, which are condemned in the Bible. And it says here, Whatsoever he goes. So that means when my shot send you over here, you'll be carrying this knowledge. When he send you over there, you'll be carrying this knowledge. Wherever you go, you take this knowledge with you as Abraham took his faith with him. That's what we walk in. Faith. See? These are redeemed from among men. So you gonna be saved from among men. What men? Your own people, first and foremost, in the confusion of faith that they in in Daniel chapter 9, verse 11. You have thousands and thousands of our people that follow this. They got the mark of the beast. They go to church every Sunday thinking that they're doing the right thing. And where do you get it from? Don't need to know your history, man. The religious destruction of the Negroes in the United States. I need to get this book and read it along with the Bible to find out who taught y'all lies. You've been taught lies, man. And our people have been taught lies for centuries. But now in these last days, the light has come. The glory of Yahweh Basham Hashem has risen upon His son, Mahashah, shall return to this earth and wake up a remnant of our people and get the 144,000 from amongst the nations and build this new world. See? And it says here, These were redeemed from amongst men, being the first fruits of your hour, and to the land. So the first fruits are the ones going to have that power in the kingdom. 
The first fruits are going to be the first ones to wake up while the rest of y'all are asleep. The first fruits are going to be the ones snatched out of these denominational churches like we all were at one time, and he's going to direct you in the way that you should go. See? And it says, verse 5, And in their mouth was found no God, meaning we ain't going to lie to you. We're going to tell you what the book says. Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. We're going to show you with the invaluable documented evidence of archaeology and guidebooks of truth, of historical records, showing you who these people are, where they came from, and what they mean. That is the job of a disciple, of an evangelist, of your God, meaning your instructor. And if you're not being instructed right, call the base. We'll fix up your base. See? And it says here, Verse 6. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto all of them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. What does that mean? You see this book here? It's going to affect the whole world. What the most high got in his plans is going to affect all nations, kingdom of men, powers, secret societies. And all powers that be are going to be brought into subjugation under Yahweh by Shema Hashem in these last days. Because the Most High set up this world now, and he set it up in the negative. And this world is set up now, it's set up for Esau and the nations. When the new world comes in, that scripture right there is going to be fulfilled. Because all nations and kingdoms, according to Michael, are going to go up under Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is going to rule the world. And the new kingdom of Mahasha and the Most High, according to Revelation chapter 21, is going to light up the whole world with truth. That's right. So all these nations on this planet Earth are going to be given to Israel, and Israel is going to rule over them, according to Isaiah 14 and 1. We shall take them captives, whose captives they were. After a dispensation of time, when they served in captivity, they're all going to be up on the laws of the Most High, and they're going to learn from the Israelites. Because we don't learn from Esau's system. He don't democratize the world. He don't flip the religious world upside down with his lies and blasphemies. And when the Most High set up this new kingdom, Israel is going to rule under Mahasha and 144,000 and we're going to be redeemed from this earth and from amongst our wicked people the men we're going to be redeemed from is you brothers out there who are void of truth and have no faith and we're going to separate from y'all your family members friends you're going to be separated from let me show you that Mahashah said that in the Bible. He said when you come to him, he said he's going to put a variance between you, your friends, your mother, your father, your sister, and your brother. And he said a man's enemies shall become those of his own household. There you go, right here. Matthew chapter 10. All right? And verse 34. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. Word is going to cut, 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 cut. Some of us going to get reproved, some of our people not. See? Why come to set a man at variance? This is the thing right here. Against his father. So if your father ain't in the truth, brother, get your own place, get out of this house, take your family, go get your own, and keep the most high's commandments in the faith of my mm -hmm. And a daughter against her mother. So if you are a sister of Zion, 
and you get your calling to come in here and minister subsidence to the brothers of the truth, and you come in here with the charity and the love and helping out by being a woman under this knowledge, not this, then you leave your family. See? And a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be those of his own household, meaning your own people gonna be your enemy, man. And that's why we always say this. Are we your enemy? Because we taught y'all the truth. Are we? Tom shall tell. So that's the variance the most high bringing between brothers of the nation of Israel. Because when you get your call, then you must answer. And love this thing. And it says here. Verse 7. Saying with a loud voice, Pay your heart and give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment is come. And worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the bottoms of water. So that's what our message is. This message is going out. And we're telling these nations. And we're telling our people that the most high rule up in the kingdom of men. That the Most High is the one that we should be worshiping, and all these worldly religions and ideologies are nothing. They're nothing to your heart. And all these nations, as the Bible says in Psalms 96 and 5, all the gods of the nations are idols. But Yahweh made the heavens and the earth. That's what we expound in here. See? Verse 8. And then followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. So Babylon the great is a matter. Babylon the great set up the Roman churches. Babylon the great destroyed the earth. Babylon the great is going to fall. Trump can say, make America great again. The most I say, Babylon the Great is fall in this fall. So when time comes, it shall fall. So today, that's the end of part one of Revelation chapter 14. And tune in next week. We're going to give you more of the valuable truth coming out of this holy Bible to the 12 lost tribes in the nation of Israel. We ask you, in the name of your Allah, Shema Shah, to repent and believe in this gospel. As it says in Mark chapter 1, verse 14 and 15, Acts chapter 3, verse 19 on down. And as it says in Hosea chapter 10 and verse 12, it's time for you to seek the Lord until he come and reign righteousness upon you. Shaw Layala. My name is Peace and Charles Monster John Israel, the Bible based ministry pastor and evangelist. If you want more information on this ministry you just heard, contact me, Priest and Charles Monster John Israel, the Bible based ministry, PO Box 1302, Madaville, New York. The so code is 11949. Telephone number is 516 302 3145. Email address is Sojourner Israel at gmail.com. Yashala Yahweh, peace be on you brothers, and Kwon, rise, Yashala, O Israel, peace be on you.